Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Parr and I'm going to be doing this lesson with you today. Uh, we're going to carry on looking at money. Miss Waldron left you with a task from the last lesson to complete and we're going to look at that first. Okay, so she asked you to experiment and have a look at how many 1p coins you would need to buy our pencil and how many 2p coins you would need to buy our pencil. Okay, and the pencil costs six pence. So we're going to have a look at that now. And we've also got a statement today. It says true or false. I need more two pence coins than one pence coins to buy the pencil. OK, so have a look at the work that you did on your own and see if you can tell from what you've done, whether you need whether you have got more two pence coins or whether you've got more one pence coins. OK, so we're going to have a look. I bet you've already got an idea from the work you've done, but we're going to have a go at proving it now. OK, are you ready? We're going to do our one piece first, so we're going to count in ones. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six P. OK, now we're going to count out our two piece. So I'm going to count in multiples of two. Good. OK, ready? Two four, six. Oh, I've already got six. I don't need to count any more. So let's have a look at how many coins we have in each frame. Up here, you can see with our one piece that we have got five on the top row because it's filled up our top row of our tens frame and one more. And we're really good at that now at knowing that five and one more is six. So we have six coins. Down here, we haven't even filled a whole row, have we? No. So we've only got one, two, three, two P coins. So let's go back to our statement. True or false? I need more two pence coins than one pence coins to buy the pencil. It's false, isn't it? Good. Well done if you said it was false. We can see that we've got more one P coins than we have. 2p coins okay and that's because our 2p coins have a greater value okay so we don't need as many of them so today we're going to count in different coins um, but just before we do that we're going to use our pre-money tokens and they're really useful because the trouble with coins are that sometimes it's difficult to remember what the value of a coin is but with our pre money tokens we can see what the value is because they have the dots on them okay so we're going to practice counting with these before we practice counting with our coins okay so I've got my frame here if you've got your pre money tokens could you please get them out now for me the ones with five dots on and we're going to practice counting all the way up to 50 are you ready counting in multiples of five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Fantastic. Did you get to 50 at the same time as me? I hope so. Well done. Now we're just going to check how many tokens we needed to get to the number 50. OK, and there's a really quick way we can see on my board of how many tokens we've used. I wonder if you can work it out. OK, so we've got two rows, haven't we? On the top row here, we can see there are five coins and on the next row here is full up as well. And we can see we've got another five tokens. So you can see that all together we have got ten. Looks like a tens frame, doesn't it? It's filled up our tens frame. So there must be ten counters. On our frame. OK. So we're going to use our pre money tokens again. They've got five dots on again, you can see. So we're going to again, we're going to count in multiples of five. 
This time we're going to check how many tokens we would need to get 10 dots. So 10 dots altogether, how many tokens do we need? So we're going to start counting and see when we get to 10. Ready to count with me? Five. Ten. We've got to ten already. That was really quick. So we got to ten dots. We have a total value of ten dots. OK. We can see that how many tokens did we use? We only needed two. We only needed two tokens to get a total amount of ten dots. We're going to have a look at buying our eraser again. OK, so the eraser still costs ten pence. It still costs 10p. We can see it there. Can you read that with me? The eraser costs 10p. So we're going to buy our eraser, but we're going to use five pence coins this time. OK, so we need to see how many 5p or five pence. It doesn't matter which one you use coins you would need to buy the eraser. Can you remind me how much the eraser cost? 10p. Fantastic. So I'm going to count them out now. Are you ready? Can you help me? Brilliant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. So I've got enough to buy my eraser. Let's check that with the stem sentence, shall we? The eraser costs 10p. Each coin has a value of. Oh, whoops. Have I made a mistake? Did any of you spot the mistake I made? What did I do wrong? That's right. I counted in as if I had one pence piece coins, but I didn't, did I? I had five pence piece. It's so important that you remember to check the value of the coins. If we don't know the value of the coins and we don't count in the right multiples, we're not going to end up with the right amount of coins. Shall we have another go? Can I have another try? Is that OK? Thank you. So this time I'm going to be really careful. I'm counting five pence piece coins. So I need to remember to count in multiples of five. Good. OK, so let's try again. One five pence is five. And another one is ten pence. So we've already got to the ten pence that we need to buy the eraser. OK, let's check it again with our stem sentence. The eraser costs 10 pence. Each coin has a value of five pence. So I need two coins. Well done. We need two coins. In a minute, we're going to have a go at counting in 10 pence pieces. But first of all, I want to go back to our pre money tokens because they're really, really helpful. Can you remember why? I'll show you one. Because the dots on them help us see the value of the counter, don't they? OK, good. So we're going to have a go at counting in these. We're going to see if we can count all the way up to 100. Ready? 10. Two tens, that must be 20. Good. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good. And my whole tens frame is full, so I know that I have 10 tens. OK, I've got 10 tokens and each of them have got 10 on them. We're going to count um, with our 10 tokens again. But this time I only want us to count up to the number 40. OK, and then we'll see how many tokens we've got. Are you ready? 10. 20. 30. 40. Fantastic. So I want you to have a look at that. Can you tell straight away without counting how many tokens we've used? Can you? Now some of you might want to go, one, two, three, four. But I bet some of you also could have seen how many tokens there were straight away. 
Now, four is a really nice number for us to look at this with because we could look at it as two together and two together and know that that is four. Or it might be that you saw three and one more and that you also know that that makes four as well. So that's a really good way of being able to notice how many counters we've got, how many tokens we've got, rather than having to actually count them. So here we have our pre-money tokens back on the screen for you. And we're going to see how many tokens we would need to get just 10 dots. So the same as last time we used them, we're looking to get 10 dots as the amount we end up with. OK, but we're going to use these tokens this time to do it. I wonder if you're already thinking how many tokens we might need. So we're going to count in multiples of 10. Ready? 10. Oh, we're there already. We only needed one token to get to 10 because in that token there were already 10 dots. So our total value there is 10. So now that we've practiced with our pre-money tokens, we're going to have a go with the coins. And we need to remember that the eraser costs 10p and we're counting the coins we are using are 10p coins. OK, so we need to remember that so that we count in the right multiple. We're going to count in multiples of 10. Ready? 10. Oh, it only took us how many coins? one coin well done okay so we can use our stem sentence again to double check the eraser cost 10p each coin has the value of 10p so i need one coin well done so the last thing for me to do with you now is to set you off on your practice activity okay so this is for you to have a go at on your own so we have a picture here and it's a ball and we can see that the ball costs 10p. We're good at working with 10p now. We've had lots of practice already. OK, but there's a statement underneath. It says I use more than one coin to pay for it. OK, I use more than one coin to pay for it. How many different coins could we use to buy the ball? OK, so what I'd like you to do is like you have a go at working out how many different ways you can make it. I'd like you to try it with one piece. I'd like you to try it with two piece and I'd like you to try it with five piece and maybe even have a go with 10p and see if that works. OK, so how many different coins could we use to buy the ball? And your teacher in the next lesson will go over this with you. OK, thank you for joining me today. I've had a lot of fun with you. OK, bye bye.